this week we are going to be learning about main idea and details. We will work on this throughout the week and have a quiz on Thursday. What is main idea? First, all pieces of writing contain a main idea. Any passage you read has a main idea. The main idea is the most important point the author is trying to make. It is what the passage is all about. It is usually the first sentence. Usually. Sometimes it's towards the end, but usually it's the first sentence in the paragraph. What are supporting details? Supporting details are statements that help explain or prove the author's point. They are going to be all about the main idea. So if your main idea is about, let's say, butterflies, your details are not going to be about birds. They are going to be strictly about butterflies. Okay, think of an ice cream cone. The main idea is the cone. That's the most important point. Without the ice cream cone, the actual cone, you can't have an ice cream cone. It's what holds it together. Think of the supporting details as the ice cream scoops. We like to usually have three details. So one, two, three scoops of ice cream. We usually look for three details. Supporting details are like scoops of ice cream on an ice cream cone. Each supporting detail helps explain or prove the main idea. Be careful though. What happens when an ice cream cone isn't made carefully and scoops are not lined up? Your ice cream cone falls apart. If supporting details do not relate to the main idea, they just confuse the reader. So you want to keep your details all about the main idea. So again, if your main idea is about different kinds of butterflies, your details are going to be about those different kinds of butterflies. You don't want to add in about even what the butterflies eat. You just want to con have details that are about the different kinds of butterflies. Let's do an example together. Eggs are more than just something to eat for breakfast. You may have heard that eggs are rich in protein. The protein in eggs are actually very similar to the protein found in hair. So raw eggs make excellent hair conditioner. Did you know that eggs are rich in vitamin A too? That makes them a great lotion as well. Just whisk some egg yolks in a bit of water and you're all set to moisturize your skin. Finally, if you ever find yourself working on a project and run out of glue, head to your refrigerator. Egg whites are quite sticky when they dry, so they can be used to glue paper. Eggs have many uses, which make them a handy item to always have in your home. This example, kind of you could kind of see it here, eggs are more than just something to eat for breakfast. But the main idea is really, eggs have many uses. This whole paragraph was about the uses you could have with eggs. So what is the main idea of the passage you just read? The main idea is eggs have many uses. Okay, they gave us some choices, but the choice was already circled in red, so we could just go with eggs have many uses. If you look at the rest of the choices, you could easily see that is not what the whole paragraph was about. Eggs are rich in protein and vitamin A, right here. Well, Yes, but that's not what the whole thing was about. People should always have eggs in the refrigerator. That's not what the whole, it didn't go, the whole passage should not go on to say all the reasons why the refrigerator is important for, it, is important for eggs. Now identify three supporting details. One, eggs can be used as a hair conditioner. 
That's a use for it. Eggs can be used as a skin moisturizer. Another use for eggs. Eggs can be used to glue paper. All three of these details support the main idea that eggs have many uses. Let's try another one. There are many kinds of bait that people use when they decide to go fishing. Some people choose to use worms or night crawlers. Others are fond of minnows, which are very small fish that larger fish would be attracted to. Some people do not like to use live bait. They opt to use artificial bait like lures and spinners. Fish are often attracted to the colors and movement of artificial bait. So what is this passage all about? This passage is all about that there are many kinds of bait that people use when they decide to go fishing. It's the first sentence in the paragraph. So what's the main idea? There are many options for fishing bait. It's what the whole thing was about. Now identify the three supporting details. Worms or night crawlers are one choice for fishing bait. Two, minnows are one choice for fishing bait. And three, artificial bait is one choice for fishing bait. All three of those sentences were in the paragraph that we just read and they support the main idea. You are going to work on main idea and detail today and you are going to find the main idea and details of two short passages. Good luck.